What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player player guide. Player guide. So today we're taking a look at Carrasco, who is a left midfielder. This guy is, uh, I think he's a bit of a monster, man. He's got really good stats, excellent player abilities, skills. He's got a wavering form. He can play multiple positions. I don't think he's as good, you know, as the, the version that they released a couple of weeks back. I think it was the player of the week pack. But he is, he is a very good player. He can play a left midfield or left wing, which is very nice. Obviously got the 90 team play style proficiency. AI playing styles are exceptional. Trickster, amazing run, speeding bullet, incisive run, and long range. And then on top of that, apart from not having double touch, he has everything that you could possibly want as a left midfielder. Now, he doesn't have early cross, which means that we are going to train up his, his, his passing in one of the training guides here uh, a little bit more, you know, than we need to. So to kind of like overcompensate for that. But I do like the fact that, that he does have, you know, shooting animation or shooting player skills that will have different animations for knuckle shot and rising shot. He also has one touch pass and pinpoint crossing, which are huge because it means you'll be able to link up the play very easily as well, right? So this guy is on B rating. He goes to 29 levels. And when we go over to him here, we're first going to show you the classic left midfielder build that we have here. Now, he only goes to a 94 overall with this build. He can go to a 95 overall if you upgrade his shooting. But I don't really need his shooting for the role I'm going to be playing him in here, right? Because of the one-touch pass and the pinpoint crossing, we're going to max out his lofted pass at 11 uh, points into that. So that will give us an 89 max out there. 82 low pass. That's going to be less of a... Uh, consideration for us but we also have 89 speed with 82 stamina and we are going to train up as best as we possibly can we're going to train up his dexterity because we do want that boost and balance right this guy is not going to be playing as a winger for us with this training guide we'll have the winger build in a second if you're more interested in that this guy is all about being a workhorse that's able to get back defensively and cover if you're playing like a 352 or even if you're playing a 442 um that you have a very good engine to get up and down the pitch because a lot of people when they've trained cards for the last couple of months they have completely you know neglected stamina and speed because of the changes that have come to v2.4 and for v2.5 i think they're going to be really important the same as tight possession right we don't need this guy to be a wing wizard with this build. We just need him to be able to get on the ball and do kind of like the Angle de Maria type role where he's getting on the ball, he's able to, you know, pass it inwards, he's able to, you know, cross it outwards, he's able to like pick out players deep, he's able to come short and collect the ball, he's able to quick enough to play with one touch pass. We also have a couple of shooting uh, skills here that we don't really need to boost up his shooting. Obviously, depending on how good of a player you are, you, you don't really need 89 lofted pass you could take away two of these and add to the shooting um you know and that will give you 75 finishing as well but that will require you cutting in which i think is more suited to the winger build right so i would definitely just keep the passing up to as close to 90 as you possibly could you have the 90 dribble in there as well i actually probably if i was training this guy myself i would probably take one away from that and get him up to 90 lofted pass because you'll be able to ping those balls around especially with the pinpoint crossing from out wide areas now if you are looking to make this guy into a prolific winger which is what his play style is here I think that you are probably missing out a little bit compared to other wingers, right? We'll have a little comparison between one of the hottest wingers at the moment in the game that a lot of people are actually opening their eyes to now, especially because he's on A form and he's just been a beast, right? But this is kind of like a traditional kind of winger, right? The only thing you need to focus on with wingers is a very predetermined role that they need to have very high dribbling, balanced uh, with acceleration and offensive awareness and balance right so we've pumped 14 to get his balance up Carrasco's card actually does suffer a little bit from that kind of that kind of nerf that Konami have done to the stats in that a lot of the players have low balance right this guy's balance actually starts off at 69 which if it was maybe 74 I think this card would be huge and you wouldn't need to pump in you know 14 you could get away with like having maybe uh you could get away with having the balance at like 83 or 84 with only 12 points in or 11 points in and it would open up the door for a lot of other stats to be boosted up such as passing which would turn this card into a monster card that could play in multiple different positions while you're playing him as a winger right but all you need to do as a winger is take opponents on or else cut in and shoot right so we four into shooting to bring his finishing and curl up we also have eight into dribbling and six into lower body so we've got the speed we don't have huge stamina we don't really need that this guy is going to last maybe 70, 75 minutes and then we swing him off and we bring on a super sub or else we bring on a defensive uh, backup if we're trying to hold on to a lead or whatever we want to do, right? Or you change formation. But I think it's kind of like the thing I always say, right? 
don't try to turn players into something that they're not. And this guy doesn't have blistering pace, um, you know, off the rip, right? You have to put 14 points into him if you want to turn him into a really beast winger, right? And if you take a look at a comparison between him and, say, Maximan, not only does Maximan have excellent uh, player skills, especially the other version that they have released of him, this player of the week one, if you have him, he's got double touch, which is huge. But even the standard card, right, you're going to very easily get the 94 dribble and 97 acceleration and 94 balance, as well as having all those player skills, as well as having that lower body, uh, you know, mobility, versatility, kind of like center of gravity. So that was one thing I would say, is that if you are trying to train Carrasco into a winger, I definitely think this left-sided midfielder version is better. So yeah, that's just a bit of advice. But anyway, as that is it for me. Short and sweet, as usual, with the training guides. Check out the other ones. We already have the poll up. I'll be back later. Peace.